could do all that he could really do the his opponent could do the hard work for him in a lot of respects for coming forward. And he's got the underhooks there on both sides. He showed some really good postural control. Ankle pick and straight down, beautiful. And now the mount position. Tough times. Tough times for Smith. Yeah, seems to be a replay of what we just saw in the earlier rounds. The difference is that Ranjit's got an entire round to try and fish for that choke. He's got hooked in really, really deep. What advice would you be, you know, if you're in the corner of um, Andrew there, what advice would you give him at the moment? From his point of view, he's got to not panic, but at the same time, he's got to do what he's trying, got to try and do there, turn into his man's guard, which is what he's done very well. Didn't panic in that situation, but he's got to watch out for the triangle choke. Ranjit swimming those legs up. I don't think you realise how long those legs are until you're actually watching Ranjit up close. Right, that's a very good point. He's got that triangle choke locked on, and this looks like it could be all she wrote. That's a very tight looking choke. He needs to pull down a little bit. Change the angle a little bit if he can. He needs to get his left leg more flat across the neck if he can by turning around a little bit. You see, that's what he's trying to do there. That is a tight looking choke, and he's got that grip now. Pull down on the head of your opponent. And the arm that's across, what he really needs to try and do is pull the arm across. Looks like Smith's ready to tap, his hand came up there. Kind of a lot left. Very resilient is Andrew. Very resilient. Ranjit moves into the, the inverted triangle position. He's yeah. not stopping coming forward. Maybe he's bought himself a bit of time with that air. Smith and popped, he popped his head out there. Fantastic. That was a tight triangle. Ranjit moving forward now, landing some hammer fists. Trying to fish it for an arm if he can, but it's not quite there. In the scramble, he goes back to the mount position and back to the back. Smith looks exhausted in this round. He's really had to work very hard to survive. As you see Ranjit's corner there, giving him the advice. Ran Ranjit doesn't really need to finish this fight. I, I think the judges will score it to Ranjit, but I wouldn't leave anything to the judges in MMA. So I'm probably a bit more aggressive as Ranjit using the ground and pound, trying to work into a position where you can use it to finish it. Because as you just mentioned there, Ben, it looks like Andrew's exhausted. It's incredibly tired. But to be fair to him, he's had to survive a real assault on the ground from, from the opening bell in this round. He's done very well. I mean, you picked up it at the start, but it's a very good point. Smith, very resilient to submissions, and I think he's really shown that throughout this fight. He's been in a lot of tough situations. Mm. Triangle choke, very tight. He's been moving in the last 10 seconds. He needs to hit a Hail Mary here, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it from this position. And that's the end of the fight. A great performance from both guys. But from Ranji Barrio's point of view, the grappling differential really was the difference maker in this one. But it looks likely that he'll get the nod from the Ladies judges. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. What a fantastic fight. Round of applause for both fighters. Come on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. And all three judges have rendered a unanimous decision in favour of your winner. From the red corner, the red